Cedar Grove. Good morning, Cedar Grove.
she looked to us all week long. Took care of us, she fed us, she kept us from dangers seen and unseen. And for this, we say thank you. Thank you for watching over our families. Thank you for help. Thank you for strength. Some of us may not feel too good this morning, but nonetheless, we feel good enough to give your name the praise. By the hands that I hold our special hands, they blessed hands. They've been through the storm and through the rain, and we thank you, Lord, that you've given them the power to overcome the wicked one. We cast every wicked imagination down because the word of God says that we have power. We have power. We have power to save the things that are not that they will be.
to the Buick Live, Cedar Grove, Baptist Church by stream on Facebook. Yes. Thank you for tuning in on this morning. We have about 12 minutes to unpack this bag and ease on down the road. Leadership of Darby, let's give the Lord a hand of praise for him being here this morning. Mama's here this morning. I'll see you. Our sister's here this morning. She was sick last week, but the Lord is still healing. Don't mind even right now. Thank you so very much for being here. I love each and every one of you for Lottie Dottie and everybody. St. John chapter number four. John number four is a very lengthy chapter. It has a lot of significance involved. It is, it is something, it is, it's, a, it's a lot detail involved in here, but we're just going to extract this a little segment of it. St. John chapter number 4, verse number 13. Good to see you, young lady. Good to see this boy. And John records, it says, and many of the Samaritans of that city believed in him because of the word of the woman who testified. Told me all that I ever did. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed in him because of the word of the woman who testified. Uh, you may be seeing the presence of the Lord. I want to talk just for a few more moments uh, because of one woman's testimony. Because of one woman's testimony. Father, we do thank you and praise you today for this choice, chance, and opportunity to stand and declare the riches of your great word. Now let the words of our mouth and meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight, our O Lord, our strength and redeemer. Forgive us for our sins and trespasses. Wash us that we may fit for service in thy kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. St. John and St. John records reports this interesting encounter between a woman who doesn't even have a name. It just says that they believe the word of the woman. All right. She doesn't have a name. You don't know her background other than she's a Samaritan. Yeah. Uh, you don't know much about her. You don't even know who she was employed. It's just some dynamics within there that said that uh, there were some things in her life that just weren't quite right until she met Jesus. Amen. I want you to understand this too, my brothers and sisters, that the gender inequality didn't just begin. It's been in place for many, many years. Before the suffragettes marched for their liberation, before the women's lib movement, and before the Me Too movement, the divide with gender has always been a significant part in humanity. Yes. Here we have a racial and a gender inequality or division. Yes. Number one, she's a Samaritan woman. Mm -hmm. She is a Samaritan woman. She's got a dual problem. She's a Samaritan and she is a woman. Yeah. I said she is a Samaritan yes. and a woman, and she has a face-to-face -face encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ, a Jew and a man. Yes. All right. So we have a distinct contradiction immediately. We have a woman that is a Samaritan that is speaking to a Jewish man. We are having a problem because there is a gender and a racial ethnicity problem. Samaritans uh, were considered 
to be half-breeds. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, they were part Jew and part Gentile. Talk, talk. So imagine having a partial access to someone because you're not a full breed or full blood and you don't get to experience the same benefits of being a full-blooded individual. All right. Saying that now because we have in this country a ethnic, racial, and cultural divide. Yes, yes, yes. There is yes, yes. within our own system yes. the question of what are you? You go to fill out a job application yes, yes, and it yes, has yes. so many categories on yes. it now yeah, making a distinction and then if you can't figure out who you are then at the last they say other. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't know what other means. You know. right. Are you an alien? Uh, right, uh, you know, are you right. somewhere from another planet? Yes. Uh, because everybody comes through the same blood. I don't one blood, all yes. mankind was right. created. Oh, one right. blood, one yeah. blood, yeah. one yeah. blood, right. tracing the blood all the way back through the portals of time, and you get to the garden, and you find Adam and Eve, and when they conceived, one blood created all this nation. Then you have to couple this with uh, being without a voice because you are a female and because you are a female and a Samaritan, you are considered to be a dog outside the gate. So now we have an ethnic problem, we have a gender problem, we have a social problem and a racial problem, yes, yes. and now you have lowered me down to being a dog outside the game. Right. I don't know if you recognize a dog is man's best friend, they That's say. Right. Yeah. That's right. But the dog didn't even get inside the gate oh. being a Samaritan. All right, all right. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, if, we, if we pause for the cause and talk about how animal rights people hmm. yeah. uh, have more respect for the dogs. I wish I had a witness here. Uh, uh, I, 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 I witnessed something the other week that just really took me and I, I, I had to sit there and try to figure out where in the world and what is this world coming to. They had a police dog that was killed in the line of duty. Yeah. And they had a full military funeral. And they had people crying and testifying and even when they brought that little dog casket down through the ranks of the officers of the police department, they saluted the dog and had the weapons up in the air as the dog passed through. And I said, well, just this morning, a black man was killed. They didn't make no big to do over it. Thank you, Bishop. What no hoorah over a, a male that was married, that had a job, that now has left his children, and they just swept right by it by saying, you know, black men killed in South Central LA, blah, blah, blah. blah. His name is under, under clothes. But the dog, that was a police dog, had a military funeral and they even called the dog by his military name. But here, this woman was considered a dog outside the gate. Uh, yes, uh, 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 on this day, you know, her whole world changed just because she went to a patriotic well. Mm, she met uh, Jesus at a historical landmark at about the sixth hour, it says, and maybe it was her usual time of day, the sixth hour just before it gets ready to get dark, she, she goes. But I kind of want to skip and try to figure out 
why she went when it was almost dark. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. I, I think I think she she eased in there just before dark because uh, uh, Jesus encounter lets her know I know who you are and I know what you're doing and, and says and uh, uh, in, in early part says uh, uh, Madam give me some water and she looks at him and says uh, you want me to give you some water and you don't even have that to draw the water with so 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 what kind of water are you looking for sir and, and and again let's remember at the time of the evening that she's there she's not there at high noon where everybody can see her she's there in the evening time when just a few folks may be scurrying trying to get home she's in the evening time and she went to the well thinking that nobody else would be there and, and very interesting enough that there wasn't nobody there but Jesus. Uh, 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 I gotta hurry on but but it's, it's, it's very interesting because prior to him being there in Samaria he says to his disciples go now away of the Samaritan. But then he stands up and he looks out on the field and while the Disciples, you know, you got to be careful when you're talking to folk because folk don't always see what you see when God is giving you vision. Uh, and Jesus turns right around and says, We must go through Samaria. I, 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 there's something in Samaria and somebody that I need to have an encounter with. And, and it's something very interesting that's going to happen in Samaria. So we got to go to Samaria. But look, uh, while Jesus is having an encounter with this woman, the disciples are in town trying to get food. Uh, uh, they sometimes you got to be careful that you don't miss a spiritual encounter. Uh, 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 you so busy worrying about when we go to eat, what we go to eat, and where we go to eat. Jesus is sitting down at the well talking to a woman that he shouldn't have been talking to. Should have never had that conversation. Shouldn't have even been encountering because of the racial and ethnic clash. There was something dynamic within that because in the discourse of the conversation, they're talking about water and she's talking about a water that would quench her earthly body and Jesus is saying this water I'm going to give to you you'll never thirst again. Uh -huh. uh, 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 when you really get a good taste of Jesus I say when you get a real good taste of Jesus there are just some things that won't ever satisfy you again. Uh, I, I, I wish that more of us in the church, I'm not talking about in the building, I'm talking about in the body of Christ, would really take a good drink of Jesus. Because when we get a real good drink of Jesus, there's some things that we won't do no more. Come on, somebody. There's some places that we won't go nowhere no more. There, there's some attitudes we won't display no more because we've had a good dose of Jesus. Uh -huh. and, 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 so, and so Jesus begins in this discourse and talks to her and, 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 and then Jesus switches up on her. That's what I love about Jesus. Jesus will switch up on you. When, when you think you're going down one boulevard, he'll be going down the highway. Uh -huh. yeah. He says to her in verse 16, um, he says, uh, uh, call your husband and, and come here. And she says, uh, uh, to him, uh, uh, you know what? Uh, I ain't got one. He said, you know, you're telling me the truth right now because you've been married five times and the one you got now don't belong to you. She said, well, hold up. I'm just meeting you. How do you know all this about me? Uh, I, we have just met this one time and you telling me all about me. And, and, and that's the thing about being in the right place at the right time. Jesus will tell you all about you. I don't need to tell you about you. Mama don't need to tell you all about you. Your friends don't need to tell you all about you. Jesus knows everything about you. And told this woman, said, yeah, the one you with now. You've been married five times, girl, and the one you got now. 
don't even belong to you. She said, hold up, wait a minute. You must be a prophet, now, nah, because uh, ain't nobody supposed to know this, because I'm here in the evening time. I've crept out here in the evening time to get this water so I can take it back to my boo. You know, me and my boo will have water to go along with the meal, but here you are telling me about myself. Uh, and it is an interesting dynamic where we have come to a place in our lives that we have an unusual encounter with the Lord. Yeah. I don't know about you. Have you had that unusual encounter with the Lord yet? I mean, uh, 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 have you had that kind of time with him that he now tells you about you and you learn how to straighten up yourself? Yeah. Uh, maybe I'm in the wrong place. Now. Maybe, maybe y'all need to have that kind of encounter that when Jesus really talks to you. I'm, I'm not talking about as the world turned uh, one night to live a general hospital. I'm talking about when Jesus talks to you at the right place at the right time, he will cause you to make some changes. Or oh, the encounter was a dynamic encounter with him, but the impact of that encounter was even greater because of the results that followed. Amen. Number one, she went and told the whole town, come see a man. Yeah. Oh yeah, when, 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 when Jesus really is in your midst, yeah. it will make you go tell everybody that there's a man you need to meet. Now why they were supposed to just go through Samaria, they wind up staying some additional days because this one woman's testimony changed a whole city. What I'm trying to say is, whenever you had an encounter with the Lord, whenever you had a face-to-face -face with Him, you ought to be able, like this woman, to go and tell everybody you need to come see a man. Well, I gotta unpack this bag now because y'all don't want to go with me, but let me tell you this one thing. There's all been a woman that has been significant in a movement. And what I'm saying here is this was not just a moment, this was a movement. This woman moved from a well to the center of the town, knocking on everybody's door saying, y'all come on out here, I want you to meet somebody that told me all about myself. And I thank God to for every woman that stands up for something uh, and lets people know that Jesus Christ is Lord of their life. Uh, anybody in here today has ever had an encounter and it's changed your way of thinking. Uh, people look at you one way and you came back another way. Uh, just a little talk with Jesus uh, will make everything all right. Uh, But when you had an encounter with the Lord, you ought to be able to tell somebody that God is real in my life. I don't care what nobody else says. I met the man for myself. And I'm so glad there have been women in our lives that have made impacts. You don't hear me. I said there's been some women in our lives. Impacts. Let me give you a little civil rights history. We only think about Rosa Parks and her sitting on the bus. But there were some other women involved to make this movement or this moment movement. There was a lady by the name of Dorothy Hunt, who is the grandmother of the civil rights movement. She was significant. She was not always seen. She was in the midst of working and putting things together and telling Dr. King and Abernathy, this is the road you need to go. There was a lady by the name of Diane Dash and the student not by the court committee. In other words, she was a part of another movement called Sleep. And while we were trying to fight for freedom and trying to get our civil rights, she was a part of a nonviolent movement that also spurred Dr. King and putting together the nonviolent agenda. There was another lady by the name of Amelia Boynton on Bloody Sunday when he was walking across that bridge trying to Selma, the people on the other side that were afraid of us and mad at us began to throw 
came screaming down, but she was not a quitter. They backed up, regrouped, but came back again, and ultimately went across that bridge. There was another lady by the name of Daisy Bates, who was part of the Little Rock Nine for education. When Little Rock said, we don't want you black folks, we don't want you Negroes in our school. Deserve an education, and I'm coming here to Little Rock, and I'm going to learn what I need to learn in order to be successful in this life. Then there was another lady by the name of Fannie Lou Hamer. Fannie Lou Hamer said, I don't want to be just a common person. You're not going to treat me like a slave. I am a free black woman. They grabbed Danny Lou and pulled her out of her house and they beat her almost to death. She laid up in the jail cell, bleeding almost to death, broken ribs, fractured arm, and fractured leg. But when Danny Lou had her got her out of jail, she went right back and said, Yes. Yeah. 
Change the whole time. So now it lets me know that you testify. And 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 you testify. We can change this whole city of Los Angeles. to a well looking for regular water. Yes. But she wound up meeting living water. Yes. When you see somebody, your friends, ask them really, what are you looking for? Yes. And I'm guaranteed that they really don't know what they're looking for. And that's a great opportunity for you to walk right in yes. and say, come see a man. Yes. I know a man. Galilee. If you had seen him, he would set you free. How do you know he set you free? Because he made me free. I'm free. I'm free. Praise the Lord, I'm free. No more chains holding me. You can't chain me. And that would not be the man said. Well, I told you, ain't nothing over your head. It's under your feet. And now, the chains have been broken. That you can walk in freedom. And in liberty in Jesus' name. Somebody here today. There's not no more than the part of your sin. Even those of you that are looking by way of streaming. You don't have to be in here for the Lord to come where you are. You open up your heart right where you are and ask the Lord to come in. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I love about it. Look at what he did to that woman. He fell at her at the sixth hour to eat that time at a well that she should have even been at. But because she knew that there was some inheritance, being that it was Jacob's well, even though she was only part of it, she went to get part of something and left with all of it. She went to get part. Yes. But when she left there, she had it all. Yes. Look at your neighbor and say, I got it all this morning. I got it all this morning. When you have it in Jesus, you got it all. I don't know what we're looking for in these days and times. If you just carefully look. Rich folk have it all, but they ain't happy. How can you be rich and still commit suicide when you're supposed to have it all? You got money to go where you want to go, buy what you want to buy, live where you want to live, drive where you want to drive, but yet you find yourself empty. And that's the woman at the well, she was empty. And she was seeking something that money could not buy. And Jesus just said, if you drink of this water, yeah, yeah. you'll never thirst again. You'll never, ever thirst again and be dry. Yeah. And that's why our songwriter said, fill my cup, Lord, I lift it up. Yeah, yeah. Come and quench this thirsting yeah. in my soul. Bread of heaven, yeah. feed me mm. till I want no more. Fill my cup. Yeah. Fill it up. Fill it up. And let it overflow. Yes, yes. And that's why David could pick up and say in Psalm 23, my cup yeah, running over. Running over. All right, all right. Surely goodness and mercy yes, yes. will follow me all the days of my life and I'll dwell in the house. Yes, yes. You can keep your Perrier, you can keep your Evian, yeah. you can keep all the money. Give me the water that I'll never thirst all again. Right, right, yeah. Give me the water that's going to give me eternal that's life. Right, that's yeah. right. Lord bless you. The Lord keep you today. Tell somebody. That's all I'm saying. Tell somebody. Even those that may say they know the Lord. You'd be surprised. Yes, yes. Things and circumstances in life that cause them to drift away. But tell them there's a high tide coming. And it's pushing you back to shore. To put your feet back on solid ground. 
with Jesus. Yeah. Remember, none of us, none of us have a hell or hell to put anybody in. Yeah. 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 You can't condemn people and judge nothing before the time. And if we spend more time judging ourselves, then we wouldn't be worried about nobody else. And I get a witness here. I got, I got, I got, I got a whole lot to worry about me. 24, 7, 365, 52 weeks. Then to be looking and trying to point what's wrong with you. Because when I point one thing at you, then three of them look back at me. I'm not spending time worrying about you. It's me, it's me, oh Lord. Yeah. They're standing in the need of prayer. I need, I need you to work and fix me. Fix me, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 whatever you're gonna do with them, that's between you and them, but I need you to fix me. Work on me, help me, clean me up, keep me clean, keep me washed, keep my mind. From drifting down dark corridors that I shouldn't be. Keep me from not going places where I shouldn't be. Keep my mouth from saying something that be damaging and hurting somebody else. Sometimes you got to you got to cover your own mouth. Because once words get out, you know cartoons have a way the words are spelled out and you can read them back in but once those words go out they can't be read them back in and many people are hurt now by people that they trusted that said something to hurt and ain't no church ain't no, ain't no hurt any words of church hurt and that big lie that they told, sticks and stones, they break my bones, the words will never harm me. There are people that are damaged in them because of what somebody said. You can hit me with a stick, it won't break the skin. I, I felt it. But they didn't leave no mark. But those words, either you can speak life or death into somebody's life. Be careful. What you say yeah, yeah. to people. Yeah, yeah. All right, how many of us love the Lord today? Yeah, yeah. How many of us trust Him today? Yeah, yeah. Please be careful how you treat one another. Yeah, yeah. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they still are God's child. Yeah, that's right. And God is looking for us to build people up. Yes, yes. Lord bless you. The Lord keep you today. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. We get ready to move into a new word season. Yes, yes. Do, you, do you know that this week will be in November? Yes, yes, yes. Lord. That quick. Yeah. We are already going to be in November. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, anybody know what happens next Sunday? First Sunday. Yeah. All right. What happens the second Sunday? I just said we're in a season change. We're going to have to fall back. Time will change. So some of y'all gonna be excited. You, you gonna get that extra hour. We fall all back. And in the springtime, we spring forward. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna let y'all know so that y'all, I uh, maybe I shouldn't have said it, maybe that would have been a good incentive for everybody to be here early. That's a doing this fire. Amen, amen. You know, they don't they don't believe the Bible, but God has a way of showing them. 
you know, um, you can run but you can't hide. And the Bible's being fulfilled whether you want to believe it or not. There's a global warming. And what did he what did he tell Noah after the flood? Come on, Bishop, what did he say? No more water. But five next time, in the interest of the earth, it's three fourths water. But he's going to destroy it with fire. And all of these hills and beautiful homes yes. and buildings yes. Yes. that they built to get away from us. Yes. They, 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 they want real hard to get away from us. And, and, and then, what's even more interesting about that is, uh, as the fire burnt, and it's burnt, and it's burnt, and it's still burning, yeah, and keep yeah, it on burning, and burning yeah, some more, yeah. that when it finally gets to a place where it won't burn no more, then the hills are slick. All right, yes, and they praying and crying and crying and praying for rain. So then the rain comes and when, if the fire don't burn them up, then the water will sink. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. 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 All All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. He really clever. He really knew where to get downstairs. <laughs> Continue to pray for the church. Continue to trust in God because God is still working miracles. And one of the things that we want to stress is to love one another. And that's the whole commandment. The whole commandment is built on love. Love one another as God loved us, then we will be known as a loving church. Yes. Amen. 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 Let all malice and bitterness, hatred and strife be pushed aside. Yes. Let the past be the past. Yes. Because your future is bright. Yes. Now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest with the body as both now and forever. And all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. God bless you. God keep you today. Have a blessed Sunday. Yeah. And a